The UK's Court of Appeal is refusing to consider evidence suggesting women are dying and experiencing severe complications because of abortion pills sent through the mail. That is this week's Speak Out segment. England has changed its abortion policy several times during the coronavirus pandemic and is now permitting women to take abortion pills at home to avoid exposure to COVID at abortion centers. The group Christian Concern is suing over it, arguing this abortion policy introduced during lockdown goes against the Abortion Act by allowing dangerous abortions. Christian Concern has even submitted leaked emails from NHS England, which claim to show 13 incidents under investigation, including a murder investigation into the death of a baby who may have been born alive, two maternal deaths, and abortion pills delivered to a woman who is 32 weeks pregnant. All emails have been dismissed. But here's a look at one of those leaked emails from NHS England. Quote, in our region, we are aware that there have been two maternal deaths linked to this issue also. One case where a woman was found at home the morning after starting the process, and the second where a woman presented with sepsis and died very quickly in the a &E department. The email continues, there is therefore a real need for us to better understand the outcomes for the women who are presenting to NHS services. The balance of risk both physically, mentally and for safeguarding is challenging, especially without data. Why are these emails being dismissed as evidence that abortion pills are dangerous to women? Why are these women's lives being dismissed? Instead of taking these health concerns seriously, we are seeing a global push to expand the use of abortion pills during the coronavirus pandemic. This is a tragedy on top of an already existing tragedy. Let us pray for the souls of the departed and for the survivors of abortion pills who have experienced complications. Let us pray they find the healing they need both physically and spiritually.